from the course of Maxim Gonzalez, which is going to be dedicated to new definitions of prior catalogs. Okay, okay thank you. Yeah. yeah so, first I'll start this little plan. First I'll introduce some geometric setup. Then formulate a structure with uh, five generating series and five uh, constraints. Uh, so in, in, in general, mathematics, number of equations should be equal to number of constraints. So it's, and it's, it's, it's various t constraints. Plus symmetry. Plus uh, symmetry, yeah, because it's all, yeah, it's all various t complex, yeah. Uh, then uh, I'll discuss what it gives algebraically. Uh, of course, how it uh, will construct it. Gives why it is enough for So what did you write? Five gener five, five, five generating series. Okay. Yeah, so this I guess I'll start with this setup. It's a little bit pretty simple. Uh, so we'll have a symplectic manifold. Possibly not compact, uh, and uh, uh, form should be claimed at infinity. It's uh, some conditions that this metric, which is not very far from flat metric, and no short geodesics, and omega it doesn't go up and down too much. And this guarantees that holomorphic disks of can it's which stop in some compact domain and uh, unbounded area cannot go to infinity, so we get well-defined compactness for all the spaces. And then uh, uh, I need a, a some topological Calabi-Yau, so C1 will be equal to 0 in H2Z, and uh, uh, as I explained yesterday, just it's, uh, we fix some almost complex structure, and we take volume form, which is uh, not holomorphic, but just not vanishing everywhere which trivializes C1. Which also the CB field, I will skip it. It's pretty easy to add it. And now, mm, what is important here, I will have a piece of my manifold. Domain with boundary uh, to the uh, u uh, sitting in u bar, sitting in x, which is compact domain with boundary. With boundary, and this is open uh, interior, and it will be Louisville domain. So it will be so uh, twin dimension submanifold with compact boundary, and um, to form a restricted to neighborhood of u bar will be differential of one form lambda and um, uh, so it will have no interesting uh, homology uh, uh, h2 will be zero uh, plus an h2 also there will be zero and then we get uh, it's called new v vector field That it some vector field which you kind of dual to one form of oh, omega is lambda. Or oh, this it's actually uh, this uh, 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 thing implies that Li derivative of Liouville -Li vector field of omega is equal to omega. And the property that Liouville -Li vector field at the boundary everywhere expands goes outside. Yeah, this is called Liouville domain. 
spreadsheet which we prepared yesterday. It's Leville domain. And uh, uh, that's it, yeah. So the boundary of this guy will be known by y. And one form lambda is known by y. It's again contact one form on y, which is 2n minus 1 dimensional manifold if x is 2 dimensional. And when you get contact one form on a manifold, you get uh, uh, mm, uh, something else. You get it's called rep vector field. It's not Liouville really vector field. It's rep field vector field on y, and it's. Uh, It is specified by the following uh, <coughs> property. So, uh, rep vector field, if you uh, restrict to omega, restrict it to y, is zero. So, it lies in the kernel. And pairing this one form, is equal to one. Yeah, so it's if you kind of locally any complex one form can be written in standard way dx1 plus x1 dx2 plus x2 dx3 plus x2 dx5 You can write a contact form like this and the vector field is d or dx1. Ah, so, so there is second guy which is completely automatic. This rep vector field which somehow uh, uh, should be a bit in different color. It's some vector field which goes along the boundary. Yeah, so it's, there are two uh, two vector fields around. One on in the neighborhood and vector field the boundary. Okay. So uh, that's all the structure. Uh, which, which I need to call this other construction. And then uh, I will construct five series, uh, each in its own set of variables, and that satisfies five identities. <laughs> so I start uh, 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 the first series will be. Uh, H commutative. It's a series of rational coefficients in countably many. It's countably many variables, uh, and it satisfies this equation. Sum of i. One identity. Uh, uh, variables will be z graded. The degree of xi, degree of yi is equal to uh, uh, minus two n minus three, and n is dimensional manifold. And degree of hc is equal to one minus two n minus three. Yeah. In fact, uh, here I don't want to keep you. In the darkness, what are these variables? What, uh, what they correspond to? And they correspond to a very simple thing. This set of i, i runs to a set of uh, periodic trajectories of rep field. So consider all possible closed trajectories, and I assume that everything is generic, so we count to the many of them. <coughs> and uh, also can include kind of multiple, I uh, think it will be kind of one uh, trajectory, you can go twice, three times, and so on, in positive direction. Uh, so uh, these uh, variables, uh, to each variable we have associated a length. Uh, Xi and I will be kind of two dual variables associated to these trajectories. Uh, this degree will be something called only sender index. And also will be certain kind of length I. Uh, Length which 
depends only on, on trajectory and get the packets x and i sum it will be positive number and goes to plus infinity so you get uh, a length and you get some length inequality so uh, sum of lengths of uh, x's minus lengths of y's will be positive in any monomial so it, it means it sorry do they have more points? Or just no, 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 no. So, so these kind of bad, bad orbits? They are all, 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 all orbits. Prepare to call orbits of red back fields. Also those with disorientation problems. We have orientation. Some of them don't have, a, don't have a problem with the Z grading when they go around multiple times. When you come back, it comes switched. And minus one, so they don't contribute to the theory over the rationals. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you know. You have to throw some of them away. <laughs> Sorry? You have to throw some of them away, even multiple. Ah, oh, maybe. But yeah. they call me Sandra Index. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe you'll. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of really know this sense of something. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 but just to clarify for everybody else, when you said multiple covers, that means that if you have an orbit and you cover it twice, that's another variable. It's another variable, yeah. It's not exercise. It's no, not no, no, it's not, not another, just another variable, yeah. And this satisfies this um, first equation. And so these degrees uh, of xi and yi are not defined, only this, uh, I mean, uh, ah, they don't no, specify uh, what they are? Oh, no, they come from, from topology, some kind I of, uh, only the, 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 some uh -huh. Morse index or something. Okay. Yeah, okay. so you get uh, uh, one series. So what is monomial then? What is uh, for any monomial in, in, in uh, for HC, any monomial contains, uh, 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 it's a product of powers of x, some products of power of y's, and sum of lengths for this x variables should be bigger, strictly bigger than uh, sum of lengths of y variables. So it means that it does contain free term, for example. It entered, um, it, it, it's the only eddic convergence which we have here. Mm. Yes, so next series will be, yeah, and this guy, uh, uh, maybe each series depends on some geometric data. It depends only on y this guy. It has no, nothing to do with uh, any other stuff. Then we get some series uh, I'll call something like C commutative <coughs> in, which is uh, we just series in axis. And this depends only on uh, this domain U, U for U bar. Uh, and uh, and this satisfies another equation, uh, namely, if consider h commutative and substitute y equal to y i h commutative x i for any i, then it's equal to zero. We get this equation, and this series has degree minus. Uh, no oh, planets here, yeah. yeah no, but, but, uh, so, what I'm understanding from what you're starting to do here, you're saying that you give, given a symplectic manifold, you're going to construct these five series. Yes, yes. That they're supposed to satisfy these five relations. Yes, yes. Then you're going to say, if I have five series that satisfy the five relations, then I can construct a Foucault category? Yeah, no, I can construct uh, some kind of piece of Foucault category. Uh, 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 and then take inductive link. Uh, I'll explain it later. Uh, okay. I can see some but uh, part of Foucault category which is supported inside Y. Uh, okay. But you're going to get, but that, that's only going to depend on the series, actually. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're not going to explain what HC is counting on? Yeah, well, later, later. It will be part, uh, part four <laughs> in my plan, yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah. No, it, yeah, I want kind of separate kind of various issues here. Okay. Uh, the third guy, you get something to see out, which is series in Y, and also, uh, it's notation, I put, it will, it will be also series in X to variable, uh, like for Novikov ring, <coughs> it will have strictly positive uh, powers of R. And satisfies the same uh, relations. H commuted to now x is equal to C. Now, 
zero has the same degree. And, uh, and this guy depends now only on the complement. It on x minus. Yeah, so that's uh, the fix. And then there uh, will be uh, s some more uh, stuff. And in fact, I forgot an important piece of information. Uh, in my dramatic setup. Uh, I, I want certain uh, this guy will be uh, Lagrangian CTK in U with boundary and I think it will be Legendre CTK in Y. Uh, so I get certain bunch of uh, uh, Lagrangian submanifolds. In real life, it will be disks, and I assume that all uh, uh, the all six are exact, and also graded. So this volume uh, uh, form is uh, equation is fixed for them. So it, it's not u bar x minus u bar or x minus u. Uh, I don't know. Again, manifold with a boundary. It will get manifold. Uh, the y will be now boundary of this guy. Okay. What does it mean? Depends only on y. Uh, with symplectic structure? structure, with symplectic structure in this volume element. And, and y is with contact structure. When you said first series depends only on y. On y with one, uh, with one form. With one form. With one form. And the Legendrians or not? Sir? Will it depend on the Legendrians? No, no. This first guys, three guys do not depend do on not six. Depend. And, the, uh, uh, and uh, Two, two, two more series will depend on this uh, uh, genre, guys. Yeah, so it will be some non-commutative series to the H non-commutative. Mm -hmm. uh, it belongs to uh, cyclic series, and now I get a new bunch of variables, CJ to J. Uh, uh, which satisfies uh, uh, the most l l lengthy equation. You get a new infinite set of variables. Second quarter, this is CJ, and why? Uh, if you get also seen in thing to do thing, which is a good word, and satisfies the game. Is this also a cyclic series, the uh, left hand side of the equation? Yeah, uh, uh, this is all uh, in non commutative variables, a cyclic series, and then it will be formally dependent on commutative variables. But the equation is also, this is the like, trace of this is zero, you know, so this. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you want to substitute, uh, it's again again cyclic series, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so this expression, it's kind of the same of the same kind of uh, of my variable, but of degree one, one greater. So but, but I was asking about four. 
this Four? equation is in cyclic series. It's yeah. in cyclic series, yeah. So mm -hmm. what here goes on, you, you make two cyclic series and, and you yeah. make what's called uh, necklace. necklace bracket, again it's cyclic series, and here it's cyclic series and multiplied by commutative variables, so it all makes sense. Yeah? So the psi and I the rape chords, right? Rape chords, yeah, yeah, I'll oh, explain it in a second, yeah, just uh, right now. But well, may maybe you need, and you have several poses, maybe you need one more pair of variables. Yes, yes, yeah, I, I will just, just uh, exactly what I want to say just next week. Because of this week. Yeah. Mm. What does this? Mm. Oh, uh, mm. Yeah, so it's some kind of bunch of equations where we can see like zeros or some various T vector fields and different directions. So uh, yeah, I have non commuting variables and uh, uh, I can see the form power series and divide by commutant. So it means that I can uh, write these things uh, along circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> close beginning to the end and upper all the rotations. Yeah, so what are what are indices for this variables uh, J? Uh, yeah, so there will be two set of uh, indices. Yeah, first it will start from 1 to the dimension of, uh, let's say, cohomology of L. Uh, it will be some funny <coughs> things. And then, and these things will have kind of length, formal length 0. They do not correspond yeah. to any kind of geometric problem. And then there is kind of infinite countable set. Mm. Uh, you can see the rep trajectories. Uh, uh, you, you, so what you have, you get odd dimensional two n minus one dimensional manifold y. You have vector field, and you get uh, um, mm, lambda sitting in y. I know, like knots, uh, knots in R three, and you get some vector field, and you get uh, not trivial rep trajectory it goes from one point to another. And again, I assume the task is generic. Yeah, here it's actually s it's something a little bit unpleasant. Um, the whole story works only if n greater than 2. <laughs> uh, n equal, uh, 1, it's, uh, there's not enough transversality because orbits are one dimensional. In, uh, orbits are, ah, lambda will be what? Yeah, so that's, that's what is a set, and uh, actually it's a very good set. Why, why explain you uh, 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 why it has something to do with um, rough Foucault category? Yeah, uh, imagine the following. So we have this uh, Lagrangian submanifolds uh, on this manifold with boundary, and consider homes from this guy to itself. Homes in rough Foucault of this domain from A to itself. Uh, uh, um, maybe you replace homology by uh, critical points of Morse function. Uh, namely, you, you start to make wrapping, you make a little bit inside, you, you have critical points of Morse function, so it's a responsible homology, but then you start wrapping only in a very tiny neighborhood of the boundary. And it will be essentially, uh, and uh, the things which turn to itself will be periodic orbits of wrap trajectory. So that's a uh, natural things which we want to be a infinity algebra. This want to be <coughs> and what I claim that if you get this, this bunch of five equations, uh, then you can construct a structure of a infinity algebra and then deform it over a Novikov field. We get curved deformation. Uh, and moreover, it will be, in fact, pre algebra. Mm, so Chris Braff is, will speak about this pre structure, so it will, it will have this kind of one kind of duality built in. Uh, just for these equations. Uh, and now, 
what is the geometry of this equation? First, a looks on, look, let, let's look on first equation. So, the first equation means the point. We introduce some infinite dimensional uh, shifted symplectic structure, x coordinates x and y. And here we get a uh, kind of Poisson bracket with h, x and y dual variables. It will be a vector field of degree plus 1. It will be a vector field. Uh, degree q is equal to plus 1. And this commutative is itself is equal to 0. So you get some kind of like homological vector field of this. Uh, we get kind of dg symplectic manifold. Infinite dimensional formal. So what, uh, uh, what story number two gives us? It gives him some series in x without free term, in fact. Uh, and uh, so we get graph of differential of uh, c commutative in. It's, it will be certain. A Lagrangian a manifold which is preserved by, by this vector field. So it means nothing else. Let me make you possible one second. So you, you, told, you told us what the xi is and the eta's, but I never wrote on the board that what the x and the y's are. Yeah, no, I didn't wrote, but I, 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 told, I told it's periodic orbits uh, of rep. Now, do you also have the cohomology? No, you don't have any cohomology? No cohomology at all, yeah. No cohomology at all, yeah. Only periodic orbits, nothing, nothing else. Uh, yeah, so what? Uh, uh, three means, it means that you get another guy, also graph of differential y, which depends of, on small parameter and also preserved by uh, vector field. Okay, it's one parameter family. Lagrangian manifold, which is closed now to other coordinate uh, subspace. Graph of D C out. It's also preserved by. And what happens? So this thing is actually kind of moves. Has one parameter information, but what we know uh, that uh, vector field uh, uh, vector field Q is touched to one direction, one direction, so it vanishes on the section points. So the color is U vanishes at moving intersection point, at moving point Q intersection point. <laughs> now, so the whole geometry of these first three equations it's very simple. Yeah. Now, what is equation four? Equation four. Uh, let's forget about uh, x and y variables for this moment. Then it looks like equation one, but now with non-commuting variables. And I say that I get kind of again non-commutative vector field. Now, now I have kind of non-commutative coordinates, xi, eta. Uh, I get uh, xi, eta. This will be non-commutative coordinates. And I get non-commutative Hamiltonian vector field. Uh, if you get cyclic word, I can make it also make derivation by the same formulas. I get some kind of non-commutative vector field. And if there will be no x1, the square root will be equal to 0. And now we said that we get a family of this gadgets over DG manifold is coordinate X and Y, or commutative kind of family of these guys over commutative DG manifold. Manifold is coordinate X and Y. <coughs> so they're still dual on commutative sets. Yeah, and non-commutative also is a Poisson bracket, but of different degree, n minus 3 instead of 2 n minus 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, Finally, uh, what five gives it's, it's kind of again the same picture. We get uh, uh, not only non-commutative manifold, but non-commutative manifold with lag non-commutative Lagrangian uh, uh, variety. Given by equations, y is uh, eta is equal to some derivative of y. So again, this thing some uh, invariable sine eta, depending over commutative base, but not only on commutative base. Uh, 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 it's 
Uh, so all equations uh, hold not everywhere, but on the special submanifold over DG manifold, which is uh, what if it is graph of D uh, C commutative in. Uh, so it was this like commutative values in vector field. Now, so, uh, so uh, this is kind of commutative picture, it's some commutative picture. Fine. Now, by this, uh, this intersection point will be certain fixed point of vector field here. This fixed point. Uh, it depends on this small, small parameter. And what you get? You get kind of individual non commutative vector field, symplectic, uh, preserving some Lagrangian guy. And, uh, and this is, you can restrict it again to this guy, you get infinity uh, structure construct of some infinity algebra. And the fact that uh, it exists in double variables means it's pre Calabi algebra. Yeah. So yeah. So that's yeah. So you get uh, automatically this family of pre calabi algebras depending on on, on uh, this parameter t for no equal free. Sorry. So what, what made it pre calabi The fact that it was cyclic. Uh, no. That that, that uh, I get I, I get not only vector field on this non commutative submanifold, but the extent to commutative vector field to this. Ah. Uh, it's double. Very, it's yeah. because you have double variables, so you have yeah. ins, and, ins and outs basically. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that. Uh, that's how it, it produces cyclic uh, Calabi algebra, uh, infinite dimensional, depending on small parameter. Yeah, so now already. Uh, should you say that uh, we try to get dimensional mode, dimensional mode, so give it Ah, yes. No, 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 it's later, yeah. No, I just <laughs> said it's. <laughs> what gives it such a break, Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I just said it's. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, in principle, Jan, Jan is uh, correct. Now, what one can, uh, what now one can do uh, kind of definition what are object of Foucault category supported in Y? In kind of big domain. Supported in Y? In a negative? In U. Okay. In U, yeah, in U. In this big domain. Uh, the definition would be the following. Um, it's, uh, I consider, mm. yeah, this algebra when deform, I get uh, definitely some <coughs> M0 because there's no control, uh, yeah. Uh, but it's M0 is small. Before deformation, it's actually unital algebra. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and um, uh, I consider finite dimensional representations of a Novikov field, of Novikov ring, of my uh, deformed algebra. And this forms some nice infinity category linear or not. That's, that's it will be later. But that's enough here. Yeah. Okay, so that's a whole story, and I think you will never ever need it. I will just remove it. Uh, so nice means that it's automatically Calabi-Algebra. Sorry? Nice means that it, it has a cyclic pairing. Nice. This, this category, it has a cyclic infinity structure. Yeah, it's, it's, it will have cyclic infinity yeah. structure, yeah. Automatically, but, but uh, cyclic infinity structure. But it doesn't have any other form of properties. Yeah, no, in principle, it, you see... No. No, no, just without any... Ah, no, no it's has, has finite dimensional forms. That's right. right. No, I, I don't know. That's what, I, that's what I'm asking. Do yeah. we know that this has finite dimensional homes? No, I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, because uh, this algebra should be smooth. Yeah. And that it, it should well, be. No, it shouldn't. If it's just one piece, it shouldn't be smooth. I mean, yeah, it shouldn't be smooth. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. It actually could be not sufficient. I should choose I generators. Know. Yeah. I'll mm -hmm. later go to. Uh, at, at the moment, I don't know any. I'm only asking because you said it's nice, so I wanted to know what nice. Ah, is. no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. So it's maybe it was too early to speak about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of uh, too late. It's already no, no, it's <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but no, we're not in the sky five to be more precise. 
so how this guy is constructed? Yeah, uh, yeah. So first we'll do something drastic with our manifold. We'll replace by. So uh, I recall that my manifold of looks like I got this domain and it's kind of U and get kind of so you get in part, out part, yeah. and uh, consists of two, uh, two pieces. Uh, but now what goes on near this uh, mm. contact boundary? Near you? Near Y? Because we have to transfer the field, to it's, we can, uh, uh, we have kind of, we can move. We have uh, uh, using transversal vector field, we can identify neighborhood with a product of y in the small interval. It will be time for uh, time for new uh, wheel field. And uh, because of this homogeneity property, uh, this one uh, one form and two form will be uh, kind of homogeneous and two form will be a coordinate t, it will be exponent of differential of exponent of t of this lambda restricted y. It will, it will have this structure in the pro in the pro in a, this product decomposition. And one form will be this. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, then I choose. Mm, yeah, so we get this kind of product structure. I get my vector field. We will fill D with DP. This coordinate. And then uh, my uh, rep vector field, which exists in Y, just extends to be uh, constant with respect to D with DT. <coughs> Extend okay. uh, vector field to be and of zero in t direction plus the web vector field on y to this neighborhood. So I got two commuting vector fields. And put almost complex structure, set J, uh, which rotates one to another. Yeah, if you use mathematicians' names as tags for mathematical objects, so a complex structure will rotate you into rep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ah, so this is a special choice. So, so we get kind of canonical product structure. Now I make a kind of new, uh, first it will be topological manifold, which is homeomorphic to X, and it will build uh, in the following way. So I have this, uh, I have this my domain U, and here I got interval from uh, this variable t uh, mm, from minus epsilon to zero times y. It's a piece of my manifold uh, 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 set. And then I glue it to this infinite, if I was to uh, uh, plus infinity, just product of y times uh, positive thing. Then I Add another copy of y with infinity. Then I add another from minus infinity to zero. T. Then I get zero to epsilon. And then it sits in my, it will be my y minus x minus. Now, so glue to just to. Uh, uh, three six, it's, so it will have kind of doubly infinite things in between. It's still homeomorphic to X. What symplectic structure I'll put here? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, in fact, one can, uh, it's, uh, uh, there's no obvious uh, C infinity structure, but one can put some, which is some very fast became exponent, exponential set. Put some C infinity structure here if you want. Symplectic form, yeah, so this guy consists just of two pieces. Symplectic form will be declared to be zero on the left hand side. Here, uh, this is my symplectic form on uh, x minus y. 
And here we get kind of conical symplectic form given by this formula, mm -hmm. which goes to zero when approaches infinity. D of exponent of D. This one formula. Yeah, so it's a kind of uh, bizarre symplectic form, and metrically, the whole thing will look like. It's not really symplectic form, it vanishes. Try to put metric compatible symplectic structure. You do something like this. You have x minus two bar. You get cone over kind of this, uh, zero one cone in exponential things over y, and all this thing which kind of disappears in, inside. Yeah. So it's uh, metric. It looks like we collapse in uh, this interior part to a point. Also, uh, uh, I, I have some almost complex structure. Here. It looks okay everywhere except the middle y. It's an almost complete structure. Let's imagine that we do a one dimensional case, which is not good for some other reasons, but also good for one dimensional case. So we get this complete boost infinity. The complex structure will be degenerate. Yeah, so if complex structure dimension 2 draw like conformal structure, it became kind of more and more degenerate here. And became kind of uh, totally real. Okay, guys, right. then it's slowly getting back to normal. So it's kind of degenerate at y <coughs> times this kind of intermediate infinity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, it's slightly sickly. Uh, it's, it's not. It's kind of limit of not normal uh, framework, but symplectic form would be degenerate. Complex structure degenerate, but the thing is still okay. Yeah, so there is still more than the space of holomorphic curves here. Uh, mm. Maybe it would help the audience if you say this is SFT stretching. So SFT. this is called SFT stretching. Okay, SFT stretching. Okay, okay. uh, and now, um, when we try to uh, look on uh, holomorphic uh, surfaces with boundaries and so on, uh, uh, there are some questions about compactification and. It was in what published in 2001, but it was early. It was uh, Elie Abberg given by Potter. Propose, it's called symplectic field theory. That's a D from the title of my talk. Uh, it's a way to mm, build up theory to make right computation. So, uh, uh, and the idea is the following. You can speak about whatever. Let's forget first about Lagrangian boundary. You can speak about uh, holomorphic curves in this guy. Uh, and holomorphic curves, uh, uh, holomorphic curves. What is almost complex, a degenerate complex? Degenerate it's degenerate, it means it's, it's will be not a complex structure in, in some locus. It will be not honest complex structure. Mm. So okay, it stops being j square equals minus 1? Sorry? No, no, j square uh, coefficients of j go to infinity. Ah. Yeah. But only in one direction. In one direction, yeah. Um, mm. What happens with holomorphic curves? Uh, and the idea is that it's, if you approach this infinite thing, the only thing which can happen, they will be essentially asymptotic to tubes. And tubes are uh, kind of essentially uh, uh, invariant on the rotation. And, and uh, in transverse direction, tubes are, will be periodic orbits of rep vector field. Yeah, so that's, that's the kind of main insight. Yeah, so, uh, uh, and what is uh, great here is that there will be no continuous parameter in the bundle because this rep vector trajectories are isolated. Uh, 
Yeah, so this, uh, this occurs, one can speak about stable maps and so on, but when a compactify things, uh, something will happen. So the main story, we get some kind of Y, in this expanded manifold, we get some of uh, the Y uh, city in the middle, when we get singularities of all the stable construction. And in compactification, you should add another copies of Y cross R, <coughs> And in this copy of Y cross R, we draw uh, some pictures, uh, some homologies up to action of R. Uh, it could be probably not connected, think some collection of uh, holomorphic curves, maybe with double points in, in the middle, and the whole picture should be not invariant under R, so R action will be free. You, you take portion by R action. And these things can appear several times. You could have not only one, but maybe several times. You think this again up to R. Actually, here is get something else. Yeah, so the, there are arbitrarily many of them. But uh, in configuration, you get only finitely many things because of this uh, decreases of total length. Some of lengths here, this is bigger than lengths of here, so it's and then it can guarantee you certain finiteness. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, that's our model spaces, and they have, I don't think it's, uh, people said it's probably not yet fixed by what, what John Pardon technology, so I don't know it is. It's about fundamental classes and chains and boundaries. Uh, uh, so the, the idea is the following. Where all these series come from? Each commutative counts, uh, you can see the isolate uh, uh, of dimension zero, genus zero equations. You get a sphere and some punctures to the left, some punctures goes to the right. It's kind of gene. You get S2 minus punctures. And this will be X variables and this will be Y variables count all of them. And the first identity, uh, uh, this commutator means that you consider one parameter families, consider boundaries, and uh, the proof is the following, the, uh, kind of pictorial proof. proof. <coughs> the boundary, is, you, you get something like this. Uh, what is, uh, so you get some surface some another surface and some bunch of cylinders. Mm -hmm. And here those are dimension one, right? Sorry? Those yeah. are dimension one. Yeah, I consider one dimensional families and consider boundaries of one dimensional families and uh, constellation gives identity. And mm -hmm. here it's, uh, you, you, you see that it's, uh, the cylinders are kind of dummy things. You get exactly this bracket. Mm -hmm. Differential twice, one in X and one, in one times in Y. Sorry. And uh, C in, uh, uh, C in, C C out, it's uh, similar stuff. You can see the things on the left. It's C C in, C C out on the right. And here uh, you, you, you integrate with the uh, contact with, with the symplectic form, get my parameter. Yeah, so the only tra uh, now, the last two, uh, when I get extra variables, it becomes a little bit more complicated. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, first of all, one doesn't need out to part at all in this situation. Uh, this point fi 0.5 depends, uh, actually I forgot to say this, 0.5 depends on the mm, systematic. Uh, this depends only on uh, y and lambda, and this depends on bar and a. So that so a little bit uh, more complicated. Maybe I'll just tell you. Actually, to write 4 and 5, I should do something. 
the rare ports and there are also homology. I do, should do some preliminary work with homology. And preliminary work with homology is the following. Uh, all this was made under some assumption, which will help in examples, which I say that inclusion maps uh, from homology of lambda to homology of L, L is AP. In my example, lambda will be union of spheres and L will be union of disks. Hmm. You get only H0 here and here, but yeah, so it's a good kind of mathematics. Lambda is a Legendrian and L is Lagrangian. Sorry? Yeah. Lambda is a Legendrian and Y? Lambda is Legendrian and L is Lagrangian. Okay. Maxine, I'm a little bit worried. You don't have any interactions between the L's inside. So I understand the L's are disks, but. Oh, oh no, say, it will be, it will be, in, in, it will be disjoint. by the boundary by this SFT picture. Okay. Yeah, it will be completely disjoint here. Yeah, it will be kind of co core, co -core disk. Yes, yeah, but I need a certain uh, stuff from J equal to 1. Uh, I, uh, I have to say something about these variables. Uh, yeah, first I choose, yeah, I, I have to make several choices. I choose uh, gamma J in chains of lambda. And delta J in chains of lambda. Uh, J goes from counter dimension, mm -hmm. uh, such that they are closed. And the form kind of dual basis. The section of gamma with gamma is equal to zero. Delta is equal to zero. And gamma J1 is equal to And, uh, uh, and also, uh, I choose in such way that uh, uh, delta J uh, 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 is basis of uh, uh, of the kernel of of this inclusion map. What is the difference between gamma J and delta J? Why are you doing to find it? It's, it's just notation. I don't know. No, no I, I choose choose a basis. It's uh, there's no obstruction to do it. <laughs> no, this is the root letters. I can choose. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, uh, second thing, I choose uh, uh, something like green uh, chain. Uh, it's kind of like a green current uh, in. Uh, can I do calculus these forms? Uh, G, G, A, G uh, uh, lambda, which is chain in product, and uh, under symmetry is uh, uh, if it's like this, and greens chain. Greens chain. Greens. Greens. Green's chain. <laughs> okay, and this boundary will be diagonal minus sum over uh, plus minus gamma j plus minus delta j minus sum over plus minus delta j. Yeah, kind of you have a uh, kind of decomposition of diagonal. Uh, then, so things I I said that uh, lambda uh, uh, less than zero, so it means that uh, I choose epsilon yeah. j in chains of n, such that the boundary of epsilon j is uh, is inclusion of j. Yeah, I see that uh, like in good mathematics. Every things you write has, has exactly one equation. Yeah, so it's just here uh, there's the story. And the square of the six vector field will be zero. 
And then we get uh, some still more complicated guy, GL, which is chain in the cross plane. Uh, uh, again, with some symmetry property to change factor to the subsequent boundary of the type is diagonal L minus sum plus minus inclusion and J epsilon J minus sum plus minus epsilon J Inclusion J and minus inclusion and the inclusion of the lambda for square for square Yeah, such things exist and one should be a little bit careful how it goes near the boundary should. So it's not just a chain. Yeah, and uh, then uh, what you do with this? Uh, yeah, it's a little extra data. So, what you do to uh, define my other series? Uh, you start. Yeah, there's some kind of H non commutative. It's related only to this Y and that R contains uh, this R invariant uh, symplectic manifold, so kind of like your picture. Uh, now, what you do? You start to map. Uh, disks. You start to map maps disk to y cross r. You get holomorphic maps. Uh, boundary points. Go either to uh, 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 rep ports, which could be on the left, on the right. So some positive, some negative. Will be some left right ports, or uh, there will be points just on the boundary of the main faults, or go, or go to uh, cycles uh, uh, this gamma data. Uh, mm, but th this is not the whole story. Uh, and but then one should consider not individual disks, but planar trees of disks. So we kind of two points uh, which connected by some kind of dashed line which means nothing. And on dashed line uh, we get some point y1 t1, y2 t2 and should go to uh, just t variables should coincide and one points y1, y2 should lie in, in chain, in the green chain, and they form a tree. And this yeah. form this is form planar tree, yeah. Planar tree. Yeah, this is so get planar tree. Yeah, that's actually it's also not a new idea. It's, it's it Vito Yakovina proposed such kind of uh, of other people, yeah. It looks like the Morse theory picture where you replace flow lines by yeah. the G. Yes, 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 yeah, so just make a little bit more general notion of holomorphic disk. Yeah, but still, you can read it uh, clockwise, the rest, and get cyclic words. And inner points, yeah. inner points go to uh, rep uh, loops, again, yeah. positive or negative, I think, yeah. And similar story uh, for C commutative, you get just things on the half. 
similar. And well, the proof is completely homogeneous. You can see the one parameter families, you can see the boundaries, but it will be something like 10 different degenerations. Yeah, so it's yeah, so it's really kind of nightmare to write. Yeah, so Jan can confirm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's um, yeah, so it's kind of pretty uh, uh, heavy thinking. Uh, uh, Yes, this is something really nothing new. It was all known before, all these ideas. Uh, there was a little bit, maybe uh, some small technical things. You can see the evaluation map and point approach to uh, in a boundary of why you should build a kind of mixture of some stash of polytops and configuration points uh, to be completely accurate. And then you get formulas and then can unwind the formulas and get formula what is multiplication. And I just draw this kind of. It's, it's only very simple example. There's no this uh, this trees, a simple monster on the sea. So <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but, but whatever you see that it's at the end of the day will be mm. somehow embedded uh, disks. Yeah, but the main point here, I just want to stress, the uh, kind of you see that uh, I draw a kind of complicated picture here and here uh, this. Blackened things will be mm, structure constants for uh, infinity indices for structure constants for infinite algebra. So, so kind of like, like basic object here is like this. Uh, it's a y cross r, and you count the uh, disks with such boundaries. Mm. Uh, which is kind of natural because this y cross r was kind of conical. Many things goes to the place where you have more room. And it's completely opposite to Eliasberg, Chicano Eliasberg algebra, which you start many things here, go here, uh, and uh, we had in the winter some correspondence with <laughs> the and yeah, that's, yeah, so uh, it's kind of different approach, and uh, here we figure out in our way. Yeah, so that seems... Uh, not dual, yeah, yeah no, because yeah. Uh, what they consider, consider is, uh, is it, uh, for uh, Yekili and uh, Ekholm, the basic thing is kind of different picture, but then I interpret as differential free algebra, so I consider free algebra generated by these guys, and uh, and somehow even uh, we start to discuss a very simple example, negative curve manifold, it doesn't work, so we skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works, but after some... And the question is why it all uh, seems to be enough. Yeah, so the rough idea to just repertory uh, enough for say for Fukai category is compact support. Compact support. Yeah, so so the picture which I have in mind, so you have some kind of maybe single Lagrangian gadget. Take small and smaller neighborhood, and you, you say the support is in here. You can put support in small and smaller neighborhood. And uh, what is important for this Lagrangian L? You should uh, take uh, transversal disks to all high top degree component, and it's important not to miss one of them. If you miss one of them, you get kind of thing which is not not, not clear a priori why it's generated category where it gets smooth algebra and so. So you get a troubleshoot. You get just a bunch of disks. Yeah, so eventually from the smooth approach, we use only disks, uh, very trivial uh, uh, Lagrangian disks, and so the most trivial uh, class, and uh, uh, kind of kind of crossing fingers, because that things are generated categories and so on. Uh, you say that if you, if, you, if you try to make small, small things, it's object which can be represented by small, small, small things with the object which I in the um, this would, would to be for Fouquet categories and, uh, and why it's enough is this is uh, this, uh, this, uh, this stability project because if you put some polymer uh, form and get special Lagrangian it will be object which should certify acts of Lagrangian stability so it means that you don't really miss, uh, miss anything so you verified that. Sorry? That it could be a 
satisfying the Bridging stability, yeah, it's a, it's another kind of big problem, yeah, but uh, but uh, but kind of a posterior, it's, it says that you, you don't really, but by stability reasons, that's the kind of maximal possible category. Okay. Okay, other questions? What was the question? Ah, th that you get single Lagrangian that can make this actual. Yeah, you can make Louisville neighborhood. It's really easy. Yeah, if it's, yeah. if it's, uh, I don't know, kind of pretty reasonable singularities. Uh, but whether it's Feinstein, it's not terribly clear. But, but Louisville, yeah, definitely. You just uh, uh, no. If you if you have um, what's called witness certification, you get some uh, zero dimensions or one dimensions of which are also, and you can kind of both of. Uh, uh, like in usual witness certification, we take ball of uh, get to this guy, get let's say the balls of some radius near zero dimensional strata, and add neighborhoods of small radius in small dimensional strata, and they can smooth a little bit, and this will be Liouville manifold. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. Each bar? Uh, 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 no, of course. Uh, we have this only genus zero. One can add high genus into be certain quantum infinity or whatever. So the equation is not one, two, three, four, 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 four. Every, no, it, no. No, one can introduce uh, this high genus curves. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's that? yeah, it's something here. Yeah, I don't know how to call it here. Yeah. Oh, it's true, yeah. It's, it's kind of mm -hmm. Yeah, this no, no, I think it's uh, people know how to write it here. Yeah, you get kind of quantum master equation. Yeah. No, that's, the, that's one, two, that's the question. No, 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 no. No, in for three as well, yeah, for three. And one, two, three. For five as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we can see the gain surfaces of arbitrary genus. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it makes something, yeah, it's something. Okay. 